Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Yay, a festival. Do I get to dress up? Hello, Mr. Informity person wearing a mask. Tair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abu Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you, but I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Well, in theory, his personal guards are worth something. I think I'm going to make it this time. Minute to spare. Isn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Our days may be dark, but thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Those celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. I won't say a thing. No, you won't. I have exactly what you need. Oh, over here. There's a problem. I need your advice. What is it? This morning, I went to hang the lanterns for the party. And this troubles you why? I... I forgot to remove the scaffold. Forgot it where? 
Just outside the Merchant King's quarters, above the balcony. W what if it falls? It could be hurt. Too late to do anything about it now. Just hope it isn't noticed. You can deal with it tomorrow. Hmm. The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Be about your business. As you wish. I think I already knew he was preparing a feast. Abu Nahud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You don't even need that scaffolding to jump in because the last building is close enough to his fence to make the leap. Ooh, dancers. Trust everything is to your satisfaction. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then, to you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say. Or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. And so I say, ENOUGH! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> oh, no. But it was wine, not Kool-Aid. Kill anyone who tries to escape. Over 
Come here, Tubby. Why won't you just give up? Get away from me! Run for your sins! Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. Now, getting away from the 20 guards is going to be the hard part. I don't remember where the ladders are. Oh, one right here, one right here. Up. Yay! Come up. You want to. I can tell. I'm getting surrounded. Off the roof. Oh, that did not feel good, did it? Run. Run, run, run. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. The vigilantes were absolutely invaluable in making that happen. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange, but then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? 